It's days like this that make me glad that I can't actually go out at the moment. I'm glad I'm not out in that weather. Let's get back to the office and get some work done. Oh, the weather is awful today. I'm glad I'm inside. I've got my breakfast, banana, milkshake. Still doing the slim pass, pass thing because uh, while I'm uh, basically laid up because I can't walk very far, I don't want to end up putting on too much weight just because I'm reducing the amount of exercise I do. So today is going to be a case of getting the comics uh, done so that I've got the week of comics ready and then I can get on with uh, Game Hammer videos and I can get on with doing the cover for the collection and things like that. Basically, making sure I get through the stuff that I should have done at the weekend, but didn't because other things came up. It's another case of uh, that. I'm going to have to schedule a bit better. Now that I'm back uh, doing this full time, I've got to work out the schedule properly. Hi guys. Uh, it's been a very, very busy day. I've been spending the entire day drawing the covers for all of the house book three and uh, putting together a few other things in the background. It's business stuff, basically, that I couldn't really show you. I could have shown you the drawing of all of the House Book 3, except the amount of files and the size of the files I'd opened meant that the computer started to choke and it just wouldn't record a good, uh, a good, um, what would I say, screen capture. <laughs> I forget the words. It's late at night now and I'm tired. I've been on this all day, but it's pretty much finished. The uh, artwork is done. I'll show you it here. And... Uh, that is uh, the cover. I've got to put the titles on, I've got to put the back uh, page on and things like that, but for the most part the cover is done, which is great. I'm very happy with it. So today what I want to talk about instead of uh, showing you what I've been doing is talk about something that I did a few years ago, which is the uh, constructed language that I made. Now I made a video on how to make a constructed language on the Knob Mouse channel a long time ago now, my goodness. And that was uh, a lot of fun. But what I found is I made a, f a fair amount of mistakes with uh, Ushglisk, the uh, language that I made. So I want to talk about that now. So let's do that. I created the language Ushglisk, which, yeah, that's how it's pronounced, even though that doesn't look like it should be pronounced that way. Is uh, It was created for my book series Sol Invictus, uh, set in the far future in a in a world where basically space romans from uh, Sweden uh, have merged with a resurgent Chinese empire to form a very strong, very militaristic space roman Chinese Swedish hybrid. And the language was designed to reflect that. But if you notice, the first thing I did, and this is why I ended up uh, discarding the language and deciding that it was best to start again, is I didn't reflect any of that in the family tree that we've got here on the screen, where we see English, French, German and Swedish became a Nord North European language called Nord Europa, and that split off again into a, a modern version of English, well, future modern, and a language called Thursian. Now, there is no point in this where Chinese seems to come into it, so we end up with three languages that I was going to develop at the time, uh, probably in parallel. I was really unfocused when it was coming to starting off this uh, series of novels and the background to it. One of those languages is Ushglisk, which is the one that uh, was going to be the main language of the people in the book. There wasn't even going to be that much in the way of using the language. I wasn't going to be like uh, writing the entire thing in the language. It was more Tolkien-esque. We were going to have a lot of uh, quotes and things like that at the top of uh, chapters, occasional use of the language peppered throughout the book, things like that. But as you can see, it doesn't actually reflect what I thought it was supposed to reflect from what I had in my mind at the time. So there is no Chinese influence in this. Thurston uh, may have some Chinese language in it and may mix into it from Nord Europa and uh, Ch whatever the Chinese language would be at the time, becoming Thurston and then becoming Ushglisk. But I never did any of that. So as we go through the, the language list we've got here, loads of very foreign looking words, uh, but all of them looking an awful lot like it's Western European mixed together, which is exactly not what I wanted. This language that I end up developing is more like North European than uh, the language that I was going to use for the book. So this is the first part where it falls down. It doesn't do what I set out to actually make it do. So, like, we've got here, machine is machine. Uh, Monday is monage. None of it sounds like it's got any kind of uh, 
Chinese influence to it, so this is not a language that is suitable for what I said it was. The biggest uh, other issue that uh, would come out pretty quick is the phonology. We've got here, this This isn't the, the English language phonology, it looks and sounds very different, which is exactly what you want. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, fricatives in the dental area, which is fine, that uh, gives you a very European feel to it, because uh, the, 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 you, you're speaking from the front by the teeth, it's definitely a dental fricative. But again, it all sounds Western European. As we've got here, the constant, and when we're talking about the constants, the constant chart for Uschlisk is built from an analysis of English, German, French, and Swedish. So where's the Chinese influence? None of this works. And this is what I want to take away most from today's video. If you're going to make a language that is supposed to um, flesh out the feel and background of whatever project you're doing it for, make sure it actually does flesh that out, rather than contradicts and actively contradicts in this case, what you say it is. This is, uh, this is not the language of the Solar Republic from the book where it's supposed to be a, a, a group of resurgent uh, Swedish Empire and resurgent Chinese Empire coming together to form one group of people and it doesn't say that in the language. But it is an interesting starting point. There's, there's no reason why I couldn't have taken this and put it in North European rather than starting again and then merging it with a, a modified Chinese uh, by developing a second language and morphing those two together, that would have worked quite interestingly. But that's not what we've got here. In the end, this is not this is not useful for what I was doing. Uh, again, we've got the numbers here: shiru on to three four fünf sich seven ot nine te. Does any of that sound anything but Western European? It doesn't, and it never would, because I missed the entire point. And as you can see, there are, there are some fundamental issues with it, so I'm putting that aside. It's an interesting language, it was a nice learner language, but uh, I'm putting it aside and I'll start again. When when all of this stuff with the uh, All of the House is done, and uh, the news review is back and it's up and running on track, and everything like that, and all those projects are starting to move along, and I know how much free time I've got, I will finish off the books I'm writing. So that will be when I start doing the construction of uh, a new version of the language for Sol Invictus, because I still want to do that. I still want to put the, uh, the phrases in there and have slip bits in here and there to make it a real uh, feel like a real world. The same way that Tolkien did with uh, Middle Earth and um, his Elvish languages and things like that. The same way that uh, Frank Herbert did with Dune and uh, seeding uh, the the entire story with uh, words and phrases, which, I, yeah, sure, they were mostly Arabic and things like that, but there were certain other things that really made it feel real, and that's what I want to do with my books. But, like I say, I'm going to I'm gonna paste things. I'm going to get this uh, done with all of the house, get the news review show up and running, which should have been two weeks ago, but <sighs> at certain times you, you just have to take a step back and say, look, it wasn't working, let's reschedule, replan. That's what I'm doing now. So that's the plan, anyway. So it's a bit of a short one today, and a bit of an odd one, but uh, that's just how it is. On the good news, uh, my foot is starting to work a bit better. I can stand without it being too much pain now, which means that I am actually healing. The staying around uh, the house for the most part and uh, keeping off it, uh, the rest and recovering is working well. So hopefully soon I can get out and about, which would be nice. But anyway, it's time to, for me to head off now, so I'm going to say... See you later. See you tomorrow.